Hello, welcome back to another episode of A Couple Conversations where we talk about topics pertaining to partnering in business and life. Today, we're going to be talking about how to structure your weekly meeting. Weekly meetings are extremely important. I know there was a, there was a span of time where we stopped having them, right? We were in a good space and we were like, you know, we were busy with other things. Um, but then we came together and we're like, no, we gotta, we gotta restart these weekly meetings. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it just kept going. I think, where's the purple book? You have the purple book? We have the purple book. Um, we're up to, we're up to how many weekly meetings now? 40? Probably yeah, almost. Uh, the same as the, yeah. the YouTube, I think. I think <laughs> yeah. we're about 43 right now. Yeah. 42, 43 or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, so we want to go over how you can structure how we structure ours, but then also how you can structure yours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Gingy, please. What is our step one? Step one. Choose a time of the week. A day and a time. Day and a time. Very important. And the important thing about choosing a day and time of the week is sticking to that day and the time of the week. Yes. Do not let anything get, uh, get in the way of it. Um, but yeah, so our day are Sundays. We started mm -hmm. them off on Fridays, but um, you know, after a couple of weeks of things getting in the mix and moving times, we decided, hey, Sundays look a little bit better. Uh, it's also our at-home day, so we know that for both of our schedules, that just works better. The you saying mm -hmm. we didn't want anything to get in the way. We were noticing that Fridays became more of a strain than us getting excited about sitting mm -hmm. down together. And I also think when we had it on Fridays, it was because Fridays are a part of the week. Yeah. It became just like another meeting amongst all of our other meetings yeah. that we would have. It was just like a nothing, a, another something to do in the line of business. Instead and, of like the week ended and now we can reflect. Yeah. And but also like have that as a coming together yeah. outside of the worldly business. We can come and mm. do our other worldly business, mm -hmm. you know. So, yes, mm -hmm. pick day, time of the week. Mm -hmm. um, so we pick Sunday. Let's see. So, yeah, we treat it as sort of a date day. So we'll also run errands on this day. This is where we'll do our, you know, pick up our, you know, vegetables and our fruits and our, you know, we'll just spend time together. That's that's the focus on that day. Usually we're like food shopping or, you know, we'll watch some things. Yeah, date day. Date day. <laughs> um, the second step. After you have your date and time, what you want to do is build out the important topics of discussion. Mm -hmm. You want to tell us what our four are? Mm -hmm. Our four topics, in no particular order, but health is the, the pinnacle. Health, business, romance, and estate. Those health. are our topics. Yep, Health, business, romance, estate. Those are our four top categories. Now... When you, when you choose your categories, you want to make sure that they pertain to your particular situation and your goals that you have collectively with your partner. Mm -hmm. um, and there are layers there. Like it's, you know, when you think of health, it's an umbrella, right? Estate, umbrella, mm -hmm. romance, uh, umbrella, business. You know, that's exactly what I was looking for. I was like, there's another part, <laughs> part of this. It's like you want to make them broad enough that they um, envelop like an umbrella. You know, all the things that, that kind of fall in, under those. So um, so when we come together with our, uh, for our meetings, having this structure allows us to, to not, to not uh, think so much, mm -hmm. right? We know we're about to talk about health. We know we're about to talk about business. We know so on and so forth. So we can run through these meetings, not run through, but we can, we can use the time that we've allotted for these meetings most effectively. Mm -hmm. And not necessarily not think but like we know where we're going so then it keeps us cohesive because mm -hmm. i know personally i can go on a tangent and like we'd be talking about one thing and then we're like wait this actually doesn't have anything to do with what we're mm -hmm. meeting about so it's a way to keep us on track so we hit our most important points and then after we can you know chat and get back into the date day and time spending together of it all yep now, just want to reiterate, these are our categories. You can take them, you can add to them. Maybe maybe you want to use the same four we have. Maybe you have five. Maybe you have three. Maybe there's two. Um, and if you don't have a partner that you're having these, these meetings with, 
that does not mean that you can't have meetings with yourself. Mm -hmm. Meetings with yourself. And you can, like, if you were to deep dive into, say, the business category and you're doing it with a business partner, then create categories within business. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you're doing it with a sibling or a parent or a best friend. It, it can apply in those ways. We're doing this to strengthen our relationship and make sure we're going on our plan. But there are a ton of different types of relationships that you have. And I absolutely yeah. agree. One with yourself is arguably the most important. Yeah. So. Okay. And then step three is calendaring. Mm -hmm. um, so at the end of each of our weekly meetings, what we, what we kind of learned over time is that ironing out time to calendar, go over the calendar um, f of each as individuals, but then also together really helps. Mm -hmm. um, also, being that we are doing it on Sunday, it really sets us up for the week. Mm -hmm. um, I can kind of get a glimpse into what it is Gingy's going to be up to. Gingy can get a sense of what it is that Tafik's going to be up to. And then uh, we've also recently started using this time, 15 minutes to script out a little bit of these YouTubes, like get our topics together and what it is that we're going to do, uh, be doing and planning. So I iron out the time. Mm -hmm. And I do think that, you know, th this is kind of off topic, but the scripting, it is, this is still very much us, right? Mm -hmm. And going on that tangent, like back to that tangent point, this keeps us cohesive and things like this, because there's so many things that like right now, so many things that people want to say. <laughs> There's so many things, so many things. So we're 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 learning, right? Yeah. You know, we're we're trying to do this this more of an outlined type of mm -hmm. type of situation because number one, it's like we want to be able to provide value to us first, right? We're doing this for us. Yep. Um, and then secondarily, provide a structured value. For those of you who are watching, if you know if the shoe fits, yo, slip that, s slip it on. Um, so, so you can see, like, there's a laptop here, and we're we're looking over our points, and we want to touch on, but at the same time, we don't want to do all the cuts and the edits and the this and that. We want to show up as us and and try new things. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit more of structured conversations, but still mm -hmm. having a couple conversations, you know. It still feels fluid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just helps us remember to stay on topic, just like calendaring. Calendaring, <laughs> you know, keeps us on on point. So, so let's run through those real quick again. Okay. Um, number one, you're gonna choose day and time of the week. Number two, you're gonna choose your categories of discussion, and then number three, you're gonna calendar. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that that calendar stays true stay true to your time that you chose stay true to your day that you chose because mm -hmm. it's just as important as any business or job meeting that you have mm -hmm. if not more important because it's really what's getting you um, from point a to point b mm -hmm. so yeah that's how you do it that's how we do it um feedback feedback yeah feedback, me for feedback? well actually no not asking you for feedback asking. i've I've, well, we've gotten feedback from people. That's true. So, Thank you for that. So you guys, there are a few of you guys who have reached out, and um, especially in regards to our weekly meetings in particular, mm -hmm. but also what it is that we do um, during these couple conversations, right? People are like, you know, they they see the value, not just what it is that they can derive from the videos themselves, but they see the value in us two mm -hmm. actually coming together to have conversations. It's true. It's true. People are like, you know, they're like, you know, it's like it. They can, from what I've been told, it says I. They can see how it keeps us. Mm -hmm. um, it helps to keep us on track. What you think about that? Mm -hmm. Find me in the great twilight room of daylight. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Um, well, that's yeah. good. Is that what you wanted to share with me? That is what I wanted to share with you. We, we we got feedback. We got feedback. Yeah, I mean we get we get feedback pretty often. Though. We do. Sure. It's cool. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. So we ran through everything again. Uh, I mean, we're just at the closing remarks. Yeah. So you know? now we're just. Ten with y'all. So we did. I think the structure helped us as well. I think it was good. Yeah, because, I mean, 
you know, with YouTube and limited uh, attention spans, generally people are like, yo, you know, I'd get to the point. Get to the point, bro. <laughs> people in the comments, two, two and 24 seconds, they talk about this, 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 and this. Skip ahead. I'm like, yeah. like yeah. that's so real, but yeah. It is what it is. But, yeah. um, but at the same time, I don't want to. We don't, don't want to. Yeah, we ain't. We, ain't we have value. Anybody. We have quirks. We have a couple conversations. Yeah. We don't have these little couple minute chit chats. Kikis and kakas. Okay. <laughs> this has been another episode of a couple conversations where we talk about partnering in business and life. Today we talked about scheduling your weekly meeting with your significant other or an important relationship in your life. That's your business. Um, our four categories, health, business, estate, and romance in no particular order. What are your categories if you have them? Do you have a weekly meeting? What would you add and what would you take away? We would love to know. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. Until next week. See you next week. Peace. <laughs>